Watson Health represents uh, IBM's moonshot effort to transform health and healthcare globally, where we are aiming to uh, improve and save lives, reduce healthcare costs and waste, and transform healthcare globally. The American Diabetes Association represents the best in science, represents the patients with diabetes and prediabetes, uh, as well as I would say the caregivers who take care of those, those individuals. And IBM represents, uh, and Watson Health represents a company that focuses on translating data into insights to help support those key stakeholders who are dealing with diabetes, whether it be patients, providers, uh, researchers, or entrepreneurs. And so this collaboration is about bringing the power of cognitive and the power of Watson and the science and the expertise and the advocacy of the ADA towards an effort that will uh, will we'll aim to impact and improve diabetes care and prevention. As an internist and a pediatrician, so I, um, diabetes was a, an issue that probably about 15 to 20 percent of my population, um, my adult population had. And uh, so primary care physicians take care of diabetes. So I would have um, my medical record, I'd have my, uh, all the science and evidence, and then I'd have all the data on things like blood sugars or hemoglobin A1Cs or eye checkups or uh, urine microalbuminurias, you know, all the tests that you have about people's, um, you know, their, their BMI, et cetera. And the doctor only has about maybe 10 to 15 minutes where they're actually interacting with the patient, maybe every three to four months. While this is a condition that people are managing 24-7, 365 days a year. I think of how it'll help the endocrinologist or the doctor who's dealing with all that data from different sources. And I also think about how it'll help the patient who in this new age of uh, of where data is all in these different formats, um, including wearable data, including um, Bluetooth-enabled glucometers, this ability to bring this data together, interconnect it, to make it more intelligent so that you get insights back. Because you can't just have big data for the sake of big data. You need to translate that data into an insight that's relevant and personalized to the individual, whether it's a patient or a provider, a researcher, or an entrepreneur. So when you ask the question, how does it help an endocrinologist? It is fundamentally about connecting the science, the expertise, and the ability of a big data translator, a cognitive system like Watson, to bring those all together so that the endocrinologist gets an insight that's relevant for him or her to help take care of the unique patient in front of him or her. Fundamentally, when you think about the, the goals of diabetes treatment and management, on one hand, you want to close the gaps that we just heard about. There are significant gaps in terms of adherence to evidence-based guidelines. So we're going to need to assure that uh, Watson understands those scientific guidelines. This is where the ADA and those guidelines and the expertise of the ADA will be very important. Um, and it'll be uh, that'll be an important outcome that we're going to try to improve, the improvement of adherence or lack of adherence to those guidelines. We're going to take it from the perspective of patients as well, to have a first-of-its-kind uh, uh, diabetes advisor for patients and caregivers of people with diabetes. And so imagine all the information that's in the Diabetes Information Center. There's about 66 years worth of information, data, and knowledge. Watson will um, ingest that information, be trained by the experts at the ADA, and um, it is a system that will under learn to understand. Um, it'll learn to reason from that data and information, both structured and unstructured knowledge and data, and it will learn. 
it will continue to improve. You can imagine a use case where a patient with diabetes could get those insights.